Hello friends, family and creatures of the sea and welcome to a high level best of three between two fantastic players today here in the top left spawning as our red protoss player playing for team alpha x it is Astrea. And in the bottom right as our blue zerg player playing for team onsite gaming. It's Rex. Rex? You say? Yes, Rex. Tiny zerg player that has been around for a while. Played for... Ooh, what was the team called? The, the team that Maru was in, SOS what team? Uh, Jin Air, I think they were called, Jin Air. Um, yeah, so definitely been around for a little bit. It's actually a player that I used to live with as well, or I temporarily lived with when I was in Taiwan in 2013, I wanna say. And he's been he's been in there, you know, he's, he's played some games. I don't think he ever qualified for a GSL despite him trying multiple times. Um, he's always been one of these players that's around. He's not the best in Taiwan. But that, that honor usually is bestowed upon either uh, Haas or on uh, on Nice these days. But he's definitely someone that you need to be careful of. We have Australia here taking on Rex. And this is a new map. This is a very new map here on the Dragon Scales. And I do believe that this is an incorrect wall, but I could be wrong here. This feels a little bit too close to comfort for me. I don't think you can actually make a good wall out of this. But then again, I am not the wall master. I'm not the guy in charge of the walls. I'm not an architect, and I've never played SimCity in my life. So I have to wait and see. Sometimes on these new maps, it looks like it ain't good, but it is good after all. And that's the best type of good, when it initially looks bad. Uh, some minerals get stolen here for Astrea as this probe goes on a, a scouting mission. Wants to know where the third base is located. Doesn't see it here. It's like, hey, wait a second. Well, actually, that's where the natural is located, not even where the third is located. And we'll see that it's going to be built in the line formation. Uh, line, line bases often help against things like Glaive Adapt, but uh, might be a little bit harder against Stargate openers. It's definitely a possibility. The reason why line is better against Glaive Adept is because you don't have to deal with a lot of Adepts being over here, uh, pushing your Queens away, and then an easy lift off with the Prism in towards the main base, or like a four Adepts into a Prism and then like a four Adept warp in. It's really difficult to make the defensive rotation there. While in a line formation, um, that is not quite possible. The threat to the main base is, uh, is always going to be by ground and never through air. Oh, this is actually a significant... Uh, investment here in links. My apologies, I did not quite spot that. And I don't think Australia spotted this either. Couple of links are out, might start fighting with this adept. At the same time, these links are fighting with a stalk. Oh my god. Uh, a butched surround there out of uh, out of Rex, actually. We're now still going to take out that stalker eventually, but it takes a lot longer than it ever should have. And these probes got a lot more damage done on these links than they should have as well. Battery is going to be built here. 29 workers for Astrea. And um, yeah, this is not, <laughs> not a correct wall. I don't think so. Because they were going to see a double wall with pylons here. A little bit unfortunate that this is the game that Astrea messes up his, uh, his Sim City. But I mean, that's life as well. No recall on this Stalker is a little bit risky because here come more links. It means that there's not going to be too much DPS right here for Astrea. Um, Oracle actually already activated its pulsar beam for the links in the main base. And this is trouble. This actually is trouble. Battery is going to be super battery here. Not sure if it's in range of that right side pylon. Oh, yes, it is. That is absolutely beautiful. And Rex is just going to say, all right, I'll just switch my attention then to this cybernetic score, which I think is a pretty decent call here. Uh, battery can't do that cybernetic score, but can definitely heal this warp gate. Warp gate should be capable of getting one adapt in here. Yep, there we go. One adapt gets warped in. And I think with two adapts, I'm um, surely a second Stargate unit and perhaps some new energy once again on this uh, Oracle as well. This link push should be stopped right now. What do we have behind it for Rex? We have a Spore. We have two Cybernetic Spore of which hopefully only one will finish here for Australia. And I hope it's going to be the right side one. Just for an easier rotation towards the potential third phase. Double gas being taken. This needs to be cancelled. This is not gonna get cancelled. And we saw a selection there out of Australia and uh, basically a second after it's finished. This is a pretty sizable error for two reasons. One, you already have a cybernetic score, so it's useless. But two, it also blocks your access to your third base, which means that taking a third base now will take a lot of time, in which these adepts will need to either take up one of these cybernetic scores, which have a crap ton of HP, or go for a pylon. But a pylon actually is useful, so you don't really want to take that out. It's going to cost you 100 minerals, which you will definitely need to replace later on. 
Now, Avoid Ray is looking for some damage, and so will these two Oracles. There's two Queens as well as a Spore in position, and despite there being no Overlords for spotting, I do believe that Rex is pretty darn ready for this. Look at that movement there. He was definitely ready for it. Oracles are in trouble, and Rex now uh, getting a full-on scout here, seeing what's happening, and more importantly, what isn't happening. Sees very little units, sees no plus one starting, so might start to believe that this is some type of two-base... Well, actually, what type of two-base all in? I mean, one gas has been spotted. So it's at least three gas here. Oh, I'm actually not so sure what you're thinking here if you're Rax. Just because you see that third gas and you see no plus one. Very little units being built. No attempt being made of getting a third base. So, I don't know. Uh, it seems like Rex... Oh, what does Rex believe? He's getting a road warrant for safety. Adding a couple of gases here to the fourth base. It's getting more queens up to seven. So generally safe place has very poor map vision though would have loved to see a link patrol here a link patrol on the far left and a link patrol this top side for really gaining that full vision around the map i mean there's really no risk to it either because it's not like there's adapts or or, or void rays really roaming around defensively and even if they are it's nice to see that move out five roaches being built those are defensive roaches and it actually makes a lot of sense given the fact that Rex is already at 64 workers against a mere 48 of his opponent. Rex, of course, doesn't know the worker count, but our Taiwanese Zerg player is aware of the fact that there's no third base yet. And that is enough info for Rex to say, okay, I don't think I need more drones. I'm not sure if I already want to get a fourth base right now. I'm just going to focus on my defense. We see a spire here being built, kind of covering all bases. So most likely going to be either double stargate phoenix at this point or double stargate carrier and it indeed is going to be carrier as these uh, carriers move out i don't think this has been spotted no it has been spotted i don't know where it has been spotted but it definitely has been spotted <clears throat> either the, the cybernetic score or maybe the link that was over here died against the carriers also possible that i just missed that i'm not perfect but this response indicates that something has been found out as we now see a uh a spore moving forward. There's seven queens in position with transfusers. Um, the more common response to this is to actually not right-click the carriers and just kill all the interceptors. If you have three, four transfusers, a spore, and six queens, you will not lose a single queen and will kill all of the interceptors. Instead, uh, Rex decided to go for the carriers, dealt some damage, but all the interceptors still alive. That means that now interceptors potentially could harass this drone line a little bit, which would be fairly unfortunate. Roaches did die. Oh, this is an interesting attack here as well. Oracle's not completely in position. There's a lot of energy on them. This is not plus one here on these links. No activation on the pulsar beams until it's too late almost. No, until it's too late. Not almost. Oh, that was a really sloppy out of Australia. Completely unnecessary loss of the third base here. It's going to put him in pretty dire straits this is a bad spot for him right now air weapons level one yes is about to finish up this carrier is very low will oh my god no chasing there coming out of uh, rex second carrier also falling pretty low is also not going to end up dying but perhaps once these corruptors pop out um if the recall isn't quick enough that could be an issue we're, we're gonna need to see an instant recall here come the corruptors that's one and that is two two carriers go down as the first 12 Corruptors have entered the pitch. Uh, two carriers still out. One Void Ray. More Void Rays in production. As well as a Robo Bay. I do believe that Astrea is somewhat aware of what's happening here. It's like, hey, that's Corruptors. Um, there was a crap ton of Queens as well. This feels a lot like some old school Queen Rose Corruptor all in. And I'm kind of feeling that as well. I'm a little bit confused by this Evo Chamber. Because if you're going to hit a timing here, if you're Rex, I don't think you want to have to wait for a plus one attack on those range units. So uh, that makes me doubt myself. But then I see the roaches in production and then I start trusting myself again. It is a complex situation here. Plus one on the way for the Corruptors, uh, which are just kind of roaming around looking for kills here. And I'll start peeing on this Nexus. Oh, that would be highly unfortunate. Do not want to die against that... Uh, against that Zerg P, of course, but I think it is going to end up happening. No more air units in production, so even losing a couple of Corruptors is not the end of the world here. Ay, 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 Immortal on the way, Disruptor popping out soon as well, but there's just not enough for Astrea. A straight-up Roach mech is, mech is just probably going to be capable of finishing the job here. Look at that income as well. We have 2,500 against 2,100. Um, there's more Corruptors actually streaming across the map. Six Overlord as well. And then 
a big slew of roaches i can only imagine as the corruptors are looking for another kill don't quite think they're going to get it what's their target they want to go for a robo bay maybe instead they just want to go for a third now of course the ability to clear oracles is also a valuable one but just being in the dead space here kind of forces stalkers in every position and that's not the positions you want to be in currently oh that's a bad move here out of australia he's going to end up losing that disruptor for free that really was his only lifeline as right now he's just gonna get overrun here he has no units he legitimately has nothing what does he have he has two zealots one immortal seven stalkers gg gets called immediately rex with a pretty decently sized upset here in, in game number one takes out australia on dragon skills as we'll be heading into our second map and that is going to be played here on royal blood a, uh, a new map as well one of the the seven new bad boys that are going to be in most likely the upcoming map Ooh. what a 17 drone here all right what are we doing mr rex what is this uh degeneracy over here after that last game's link flood he's feeling a little bit spicy he, well a little bit he's like the the carolina reaper and no that's not a serial killer that's one of the the hottest peppers in the world a couple of million scoville i don't know how many i want to say two million which is pretty darn hot i think their gas is like 13 million scoville units but i i can't quite recall the, these exact numbers at some point i knew it but this is a spicy build is all i'm trying to say okay this is not your your regular chili pepper jalapeno that type of stuff you know this is this is even a ghost pepper doesn't quite cover this all right this is something bigger than that this is truly spicy territory pool first uh gets the hatchery down on the low ground which is also important still if you're playing pool first wow australia nexus before core here interesting wall once again good lord he ain't buying it he ain't buying it and honestly good call because rex is uh selling snake oil over here this is not a real pool first this is not four links this is not six links this is just this is two links that's no real threat and one of the links is going to be chasing the probe here that's hiding in the corner got spotted by rex, rex has good instincts i guess did not see the probe go home it's like hey where's your probe buddy what's kicking up here fairly interesting That's about like, ooh, sheesh, as the millennials, no, as the Gen Zs would say. Okay. This is actually becoming so spicy right now, this might be tear gas. This is mental. This is like, what? Okay, this is not actually a build order. Like... He's rushing a layer, but stop mining gas. So unless he's rushing an overseer, I don't really see what he what, what this layer is. It's like a fake layer, but I mean he's still building drones, so maybe it is. I just don't quite see what this is. I don't understand what he can do from here. Maybe a drop. I guess that's another thing. He's either either a drop or an overseer. Okay, he's gonna morph it straight into a drop yeah 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 i like that actually do i this is a build there was a dutch zerg player called agaham who played this a lot this specific build order and then we would follow it up with some weird all in this only five links though if this was eight links this could actually deal some damage five links like if a probe sneezes these five links will end up dying avoid ray is about to pop out as well going to be very unfortunate here for rex if that actually ends up happening yeah no it does end up happening so these five links get two kills this is not really what you're looking for usually is it now we have an overseer as a follow-up so that, wait what it turned from i didn't even know that was possible a dropper lord a dropper lord into an overseer okay this did absolutely nothing this was completely useless but really just this was so useless it actually hurt my brain like legitimately this did nothing if it was eight links this actually could have done some real serious harm with five links not so much why would you 
rush a lair to get five links on your opponent's main, and then build an overseer that you just lose to a void ray. This has been a fairly mediocre game here out of Rex, who impressed me in that last one with pretty decent decision making after the early game. But so far has been extremely disappointing. And we're following this up with a very fast Hydralisk then as well. Off of four gas? It's gonna get a lot of Hydras out with, with this gas cut. Look at that. He's no minerals right now. He's building 20 links and he has 300 gas in the bank. What's the queen count? Five! Usually when you play this type of Hydra link, you want to get slightly lower queen count because queens are kind of mineral intense and you're not saturating a third base anyway, so why would you need more than four queens? Two queens per base and you can skip all spores. There's even a spore in the main, so technically three queens total would have been fine. Okay, here we go. Link Flood starts. It's a lot of these units, uh, well, actually do nothing. Carrier on the way. Astrea's love for a carrier is also slightly surprising to me. I'm gonna be honest. Not been a huge fan of how he has played so far in this uh, in this series. Some disappointing mistakes and also build order choice wise. I mean, carriers against someone that's stuck on two base for so long with a fast layer definitely has some risk involved there. This is. Yeah, I'm just not entirely sure about it. He keeps building workers, though, despite having so little info. Seize the gases. Now, gases on a base like this, this early, probably indicate some type of aggression. He's going to scout the Hydra then, uh, researching those muscular augments. 38 workers against 60. 6 gas against a 4. But at the same time, 15 Hydralisk against a single carrier. There are 17 links, and there's nothing here to deal with it. Um, these carriers interceptors are going to be shot out of the sky. Of course, the battery can't heal that. Especially not if the battery is gone. Next two carriers are on the way. As these two oracles should be heading back home. Maybe for some added DPS against these Hydra. Which I don't think it's going to matter at all. We have 24 more links on the way. There's 19 Hydra still done. And there's currently two interceptors out on the map. The only units that are here are two Zealots and Adept. And these two oracles. Two oracles get shot out of the sky. At least number one does. And the pro pool occurs. But this is simply just not going to be good enough. 19 Hydra still alive and kicking. A couple will fall. Third carrier does pop out right now. If these carriers survive, technically the ability for counter attack is here. But yeah, interceptors all die. Seven interceptors left. Fourteen Hydra still around, and GG gets called. This has been a short but sweet series with Rex showcasing some uh, puzzling gameplay, which I guess Astrea is not a huge fan of puzzles. Um, he looked at it and was like, well, carriers are the answer to this two-base play, and, and they weren't. And last game, carriers weren't the answer either, honestly. So uh, two times just kind of kind of weird weird responses, I have to admit it. And yeah, I mean, Rex with solid all in is going to win this series 2-0 against, honestly, America's best. And it's a huge upset, and it's cool to see a, a player that's been around for so long, posting some decent results here. Uh, that's going to be it for me today. Thanks for watching. I hope you did enjoy it. If you did, don't forget the like button, subscribe to the channel and I'll see all of you next time for a new video. Thanks so much and bye bye.